be Hans indeed. Hans. Poor Hans. See, they didn't even lose that many troops, but because we killed their lord, and because our we have fear-causing units, they routed pretty quick. So we will dominate 3% of their dead to our will. Ready. And uh, it recruited a free rec recromant necromancer. Just because because I said that now, you know what we have to do is uh, find where I can actually rename him. Oswald Richter looks. I don't think. Oh, we maybe can. maybe we can't rename him in this game. I was I'm, I'm used to. Oh no, wait. Here we go. <laughs> Rec. Romancer. Richter loves. <laughs> <laughs> Mispronounced it. It is now canon. He is the Rec Romancer. Um, yeah, so he will count as another agent that we can use. I might stick him with Manfred's army, or I might just have him stick around here and deploy in the province. I'm gonna go Rec ahead. Romancer. That could be a band. It could. It could be a band. And I think we actually have enough movement left to take Walton off on this turn, too, so... Yup. Let's do that. That victory was decisive. That was decisive, indeed. Uh, Occupy for the unit's punishment. Manfred's already level 5, and we now have control over the province of Eastern Sylvania, which means we can pass an edict. Uh, what's our public order like? Our public order's fine. So I'm probably gonna do... Growth and vampiric corruption, because growth will allow Ronic us to. Sapien really wants you to take raise the dead. Where is that? Oh, on the skill tree. I imagine that's what he's referring to. Uh, where is that? Oh, raise dead is down the invocation of Nehek. So, I will take that on my necromancer heroes but for manfred i'm gonna focus on him being a frontline fighter so like this guy he also has a skill tree that also includes raised dead so i'm gonna use him as my my raised dead guy and manfred's just gonna be the frontline messing shit up we like definitive and delineated roles yes it's income from inf income from repression buildings. I love that one of the vampire's economic sources is repression. <laughs> Richter Los and the Recromancers. It'd be a great band, or a terrible band. Yeah, it it's either like... a band that's a great band, or is a band that plays at the local open mic and is just awful. They're gonna waste their troops against my garrison here. I don't know if they'll still sack it. Yeah, they just sacked it. They didn't. Take it so look at them just run off. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> Soik. <laughs> that, that was kind of funny. Even yeah. that little jog, like, uh. <laughs> yeah. That is exactly how people who sucker punch people run. <laughs> uh, I kind of wish I had kept them in friendly territory for another turn for replenishment, but we should have enough to. There we go. That should be enough to take the Castle Temple off. It's a fortified settlement, so it's going to be a little bit tougher, but... The winds of magic have changed, so these kind of move around the map and determine how much magic you have access to. Uh, which can be very significant if you have a wizard heavy Okay. Pack. This this could be tough. So... Uh, it's giving us a lower chance in the balance of power because we don't have any siege equipment yet, even though we have a much larger army. So I'm going to let's bring a battering ram. Let's bring a few towers. I'm not going to wait for all of these to build, but I'm just going to wait a few turns until it says that we're not at a disadvantage anymore, and then I'll. I could probably win that opening engagement just having my Vargolf battle batter down the gates. Um, Who shall we destroy? My necromancer. The old, uh, the old Walking Dead approach, eh, Smelly Ducks? I'm gonna deploy I him just so he'll gain experience moves. points. And our income is probably good enough that we could recruit another lord. I do want to save some for upgrading buildings. So we've got uh, Siegfried Hilsnicht. Who's stupid? <laughs> He's stupid. 
bonus. Shares the intellect of a river troll. I love Char it. Plus six charge bonus, because he has no concern for his own safety, but also enemy hero action chance plus five. Uh, we've got an easily distracted necromancer. Uh, we have a plus ten attack for dire rolls and helmets. That's pretty nice. And then a phlegmatic vampire who has plus line of sight. I kind of like... This Uli. guy, actually. Uli von Karstein. He's a master necromancer. Strike out! And I'll go ahead and start. Uh, since he's good with... He's good with animals, I'll go ahead and... Stick stick some animals in his army, and then... Uh, actually, I'm gonna have good di discipline. I'm gonna have good RTS player discipline and not queue up units for multiple turns. And I want those resources to remain available to me. Uh, just so you guys know, um, we have about a 30 second delay, so unless a decision is really difficult yeah. to make, we'll probably make they, it. They said go with Cousin Uli, though, and that's what we did. So. Be destroyed. Uh, I think they're going to offer another peace treaty, which I'm going to reject. We, take the skin. we smell I their will fear. Dominate Do not mistake this okay, so Schwarzhoffen wants a non aggression pact. Sure. We can always break it later. Uh, we have warred with the mortal usurpers of the Empire many times before, now we will teach them a lesson. So, they want us to be at war with Ostermark, uh, who is up here. They want us to be at war with Ostermark in five turns. I think we can do that. We have managed. I want to take these two settlements out first. Um, yeah, this, this Essen looks totally undefended, so. Well, we... Why did they put Essen and Eschen so close together? That's... That's uh, it's like a fiction writing faux pas. Uh, let's continue the siege. Oh, they have a reinforcement army. That's what do we need to make grave guards, and can we confederate with other vampires? Um, I have not actually seen that happen before, but I think it's theoretically possible. Um, Relations with foreign powers may. Welcome, kin. You must want something. Uh, we can ask be them to become head. our vassal, but confederation is not an option right now. Okay, there you go. It doesn't mean it's impossible. Uh, it just means that we haven't met whatever requirement we would need to Wipe make them, them confederate. Out. So. Um, also, one thing, one other not thing about stopping. sieges that is significant in this game. Um, it takes a lot longer for sieges to actually wear down a garrison. It's going to be seven turns before they run out of supplies and start suffering attrition and 13 turns before they surrender. So this game very much encourages you to assault the castle and not just sit and wait for it to wear down. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep uh, bolstering bolstering my uh, animal swarm over here. Uli is a beastmaster, yeah. Uli the beastmaster. <laughs> Uli is the friend of the tears. You know, um, that was that was actually a decent show, Beastmaster, but now whenever I hear that word, I can't help but thinking of Pierce from Community as Beastmaster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he he, he kind of ruined that for me. Yeah. We're going to build a gibbet. Uh, we can we could upgrade our Abyssal Wood. It, it's on normal, no dice. We're just playing to show the game off. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not the world's best Total War player. I just play for fun. So I'm playing on normal, which... For my play level is plenty of challenge. But um, do not assume that as we share a brother, They're gonna keep offering more and more money for peace treaties. We're just gonna keep rejecting it. I mean, what are they gonna do at this point? Um, okay, so Sinros is asking, um, I have a question. Most people get vampire lords. What's the benefit of getting master and necromancers? Um, mainly it's a different skill tree. Um, I do like vampire lords better, uh, but these guys have... Master of the Dead, I think, is unique to them. Let me check against... Well, Combat versus casting is about right. Yeah. Um, gonna move these guys up and recruit... I don't know, like, one more unit of skeletons. Yeah. Maybe But I think I'm gonna march him around, take this Fort, settlement. Is that Fort Oberstice? Uh, Obersteyr. Obersteyr. Fort Obersteyr. Fort Obersteyr. I took four years of German in college, and I'm terrible at German, but I can still do the German accent. I am German, and I can barely do the German <laughs> accent. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, occupy. Uli! 
I'm gonna rename him Cousin they Billy. Will serve. Just because that's that's how we've come to know him. So he is Cousin Uli von Karstein. He's probably gonna ask us to go bowling at some point. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna focus him on the raised dead. What kind of cousins do you have? My, my cousins don't ask me to go bowling. GTA oh, yeah, GTA, or GTA 4. 4, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So we can go for Body. <laughs> plus two con corruption faction wide or income from cities and growth in provinces. I think we'll go for income first because I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's there aren't any like agents or anything trying to counter our corruption, so it's pretty solidly parked at 100. Is the multiplayer build available to the early access members? Yeah, there there is multiplayer mm -hmm. enabled. I might try and see. I mean, there's probably some other like YouTubers or something playing right now, so I might see it. We can jump on multiplayer at some point and just see if we can find a match. We only have one copy of the game, so we can't like do it on separate computers. But uh, uh, your right. prestige grows, can you only recruit von Karsteins? News of um, a lot of the randomly generated wide. leaders will be named von Karstein, but not all. Of them. Power is noted by even the most distant so we've of kings. we've met the first like you minor objective, which is overview. to control. He's telling me about stuff I already know. I could probably go into the options and disable that. Obliterate. So we got three towers, and we're heavily favored to win. Let's go ahead and fight this one on the map. Also, the people mentioning that I pause in battle, I don't usually pause in the middle of battle. I just pause right after I start so I can give my units their initial orders. And then I don't usually pause after that. So I'm not a total scrub. I just like having my orders set up before the battle starts. Oh, uh, that's kind of shitty for Winds of Magic. I think we can gamble. And it went down to almost nothing. <laughs> Gambling never pays, <laughs> the game tells me. So, uh, yeah, that was... Congrats. Magic, magic will not... Right okay, cool. Dylan's gonna grab something to eat. Uh, do I not have any guys attached to these towers? Oh, okay. I'm still in the deployment phase. I'm smart. I play video games. I know how. I know how to play this game. I don't. Wait. What are you guys talking about? Of course, I know how to play this game. I only played 50 hours of it for the review. Group these guys just to keep them organized apart from these guys. I think we're just gonna pretty much do a frontal assault here. I'm gonna have Uli's army coming in from this way. So actually, there's really no reason we should waste our forces against these towers. So I'm just I'm I'm gonna have everything over here. And then we'll have the battering ram manned by Crypt Ghouls is going to Sit in the middle here. And stick some skeletons back here. Actually, here's what I'm gonna do with these towers. I'm gonna give each of them a protective screen of zombies. So the zombies will take damage first and the towers will not get blasted to pieces before they even get to the walls. Okay, and Spearman, hang out back here. Bats. I'm not really taking much time to set this up because we're so favored to win. But... And I won't pause. I will. I'll try to to not pause. Oh, I can. These guys I can actually build ladders. So that's cool. some of these towers because I forgot that uh, zombies can have ladders. Is there even anywhere for them to put it at this point? No. So I'm just going to have them drop siege equipment. Drop siege equipment. And let's send in the bats. They're vampires, so they don't have range units. Uh, let's 
do bats versus bats. Bat fight! Gentlemen's game. Very good. Little feral sketch you have. And where's my necromancer? Where's Cousin Uli? How well these zombies will do taking the walls on their own. But... Cousin Uli. Does he really don't have any spells or just because I have too many units selected? Yeah, there we go. So he has invocation of the heck. He doesn't have raise dead yet. So here come the zombies. They're gonna pull ladders out of their bodily orifices, I'm assuming. Yep, there we go. What do I got here? Skeleton warriors. Oh, here we go. Making contact over here. Skeletons versus zombies. Skeletons will probably win. How's the bat fight going? There's the bat fight. I think we're going to win the bat fight. someone playing a fun faction. What is everyone else playing? Just Empire? I haven't I haven't really been looking at the other streams. But uh, yeah, I, I, um, uh, vampires and greenskins are definitely more interesting than... Uh... Oh shoot, my Vargolf is taking a load of damage. I do not want to lose him. Get the heck out of there. Send Cousin Uli up the ladder, or send Manfred up the ladder. These guys are doing nothing, basically, so... Losing over here. Oh, because there's Crypt Ghouls. Crypt Ghouls are definitely stronger than Skeletons. Oh, and these are my Zombies, too, so. The ladder, Manfred! bit of slowdown here. That's actually not that common in this, in this game. I haven't had many frame rate issues at all. There we go. I think it resolved itself. It was probably the classic Total War ladder bug. <laughs> if those of you who have played Total War are familiar with, sometimes when you send multiple units to climb the same ladder, it just confuses the hell out of the AI. So. I will. Master of the Black Arts. Uh, let's cast Invocation of Tools. Yeah, we're, we're having some some ladder bugs here. Maybe that's not a valid target. We did just bust through the uh, gate, though. So we charge their crypt rules with. Now let's just do all of my remaining army. Hard group and charge the center. Yeah, this, this this animation frame rate thing is not something I see very often. I think it's something to do with the siege towers. Uh, if it keeps up um, in in future battles, I'll see if I can tweak some settings to get that to stop happening because I know it's a thing. Yeah, that, that animation frame rate has been around since since Rome 2. And I'm pretty sure that it's related to Siege Towers. Uh, 
Because I usually only see it in battles where I can use siege towers. But, uh, yeah, still, still building on the same engine. So, you know, maybe someday they'll release a new engine to get rid of some of this weirdness that goes on. But that's a total war for you. It wouldn't be a total war game if it didn't have weird technical issues related to siege battles. And I honestly have not seen this that often. This is one of the first times I've actually seen, seen it go janky like this, so I don't think it'll be that big of a problem. I serve me. Wish I knew. Well, Spirit Leech actually doesn't do that much damage to groups, but I don't know where their reward is. Well, my bats won. We won the bat fight. Maybe we can. Here, let's spy over here a little bit. The AI is actually pretty decent, especially on hard. Um, and again, I'm trying to keep up with, with everyone's questions because Dylan went to go grab something to eat and I'm actually playing the game right now, so it's, it's a little bit um, harder to pay attention to the battle and watch chat. Um, yeah, that's probably not a good idea to get all my bats killed over there. Let's... Now that I know where their lord is, I'm just going to pull them back and have them join this fight. Um, yeah, the, the AI on hard especially is better than it has been in, in Attila or Rome 2 for sure. Uh, it also, they're, they're smarter on the campaign map is one of the biggest things. Um, in terms of, you know, on the battlefield it's it's somewhat better, but they make, they just make smarter decisions on the campaign map and smarter decisions about their settlements. Um, general is, is what it seems like. Yeah, I'm going to try to just like not use Siege Towers next time because this is it's really annoying how it's kind of slowing down the frame rate like this. Let's put the speed up and see if that doesn't... Oh, did my bats get stuck? Oh, my bats got stuck. Get out of there! Where's Cousin Wooly? Is he still hanging out here? Well, he has the sword of anti-heroes. Which is nice. Oops. Yeah, so Chaos um, is not playable yet in the review build. Um, they said... They said probably today that it would update to a retail build and we'd be able to, to check out Chaos, but as of when we started this stream, it was not available yet, so. I think these guys are pretty much for these crypt wars and all of this time. And again, this, this this frame rate animation glitching that's happening is not something that is common. Uh, I think it's related to the siege towers, so if you're just now tuning in, this is not how the game looks all the time. This just started happening for this battle, and uh, it should be fixed by the time we start another one. And also, the shading errors are something that is not. Oh, my bats are dead. I guess they got caught up here and couldn't get out. Luckily, bats are very expendable and very cheap to rebuild. So. I also haven't really been microwing because I figured I was winning this pretty decisively, but now it's like I'm kind of getting bogged down here. I'm a little worried. And it's taken some HP damage.
gun on the wall yet? Seriously, guys. We got him so 